The ambassador told the crowd of several hundred that President Donald Trump was one of the event's 70 honorees because of his bold and historic decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. He said that while the president wanted to be at the event, he was prevented from attending because of the First Lady's planned medical procedure. Vice President Mike Pence appeared in Trump's stead. Dermer lauded Pence's actions with regard to his support for Israel, as well, Dermer presented an award in the form of a medal for President Trump that Pence accepted on Trump's behalf. The ambassador thanks Trump and Pence for putting an end to the appeasement of Iran's radical regime and pulling out of a nuclear deal that is of great danger to Israel, too. America, to the peace of the world. Thank you for unapologetically standing with Israel at the United Nations and making clear that the days when America will allow the UN to gang up on Israel, those days are over, said Dermer. He offered thanks for unequivocally backing Israel with military and missile defense support that allows Israel to defend itself. He offered thanks for the courage it took to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and move the American embassy there, calling it one small step for peace and one giant leap for truth. Vice President Mike Pence brought greetings and congratulations from President Trump and accepted a recognition of President Trump from the state of Israel. He said the president is honored to receive the medal. He informed the crowd that that First Lady's medical procedure went very well and that the United States is blessed to have Melania Trump as its First Lady. Vice President Mike Pence praises President Donald Trump for standing with Israel, says Trump wanted to be there, but asked Pence to attend so Trump could be with First Lady Melania Trump after her long-planned medical procedure. 2018 Pence marveled at the success that Israel has been able to achieve, its strength, and the example she sets. He remarked that the United States was proud to have been the first nation to recognize Israel as a state 70 years ago. Just as President Harry Truman made history then, President Trump made history now. And thanks to the president's leadership, almost exactly 70 years to the minute from the rebirth of the Jewish state, the American embassy officially opened in Jerusalem, the capital of the state of Israel today, said Pence. He recalled Trump's initial action to recognize Jerusalem as the capital and order the embassy moved. Today is nothing less than a great day for Israel, said Pence. He called Jared Kushner's remarks at the opening of the embassy in Jerusalem moving and a testament to not only the Jewish people but to him and his family. When President Donald Trump makes a promise, he keeps it, declared Pence. He said Trump made it clear that morning with the embassy opening that our greatest hope is for peace. And while any peace will undoubtedly require compromise, you can know with confidence, under President Donald Trump, the United States of America will never compromise the safety and security of the state of Israel, Pence pledged. Pence heralded Trump's action to remove the U.S. from the Iran nuclear deal and said Iran's missile attacks on Israel last week only confirmed that decision. The United States of America will never allow Iran to obtain a nuclear weapon. Pence said, remarking that that was a solemn promise, he lauded many of Israel's economic accomplishments in the midst of struggle. He spoke of their progress in agriculture, technology, medicine, information and other areas. One unalterable truth stands, said Pence, America stands with Israel, we believe in right over wrong, and good over evil, and liberty over tyranny. Pence said, listing a host of reasons that America stands with Israel. He then gave a message to citizens of Israel in Hebrew. On behalf of the President and all the American people, on this big day for Israel, we say Mazel Tov. Pence said to applause from the crowd. The United States and Israel will meet our glorious future together. The event closed with one vocalist performance of the U.S. National Anthem and the Israeli National Anthem. U.S. 
and Israel anthems closed out the 70th anniversary of Israel's independence celebration in D.C., here's one of them. Fikta.twitter.com slash Evgila, Michelle Moons, at Michelle Adiana, May 14, 2018 The Israeli Embassy's event was hosted by Israeli Ambassador to the United States H.E. Ron Dermer and Mrs. Rhoda Dermer. Follow Michelle Moons on Twitter at Michelle Adiana.